In the basic physiology module, I covered exercise physiology concepts and principles relevant to everyone, with enhanced explanations about how they affect people like us with type 1 diabetes. Now, keeping in mind what you've learned about your physiology, let's look closer at how insulin levels affect access to your body's energy stores, glycogen and body fat, and how it impacts blood glucose use during and after exercise. Research shows a low understanding of insulin pharmacokinetics, or in plain English, how insulin works, is one of the top three reasons why people with type 1 diabetes fear exercise and don't do it. Achieving optimal insulin levels for exercise and performance is one of the most challenging parts of diabetes management. Understanding the basic principles of insulin action is of huge importance for building exercise confidence. Knowing about how insulin works in a practical sense will provide you with a solid foundation to develop diabetes management strategies to suit your individual needs. Like most things with type 1 diabetes, there's no one size fits all. And although trial and error is always part of the management mix, with practice you can turn your diabetes management from being fearful and reactive to being proactive and confident.